what's up youtube fam welcome to another how to video on my youtube channel in today's video we'll be looking at how to color grade your images right here in capture one this has been a requested video from a lot of people who use capture one i used to be an enthusiast of capture one and i diverted into lightroom just because i could do more in lightroom and i feel like i owe it to my capture one family to have a video on how to color grade in capture one like an updated version so if you haven't updated your capture one to capture one 21 you're missing out on a particular feature which i love which is this so on a normal day when you, whenever you shoot with the canon i shoot with the canon when you shoot with the canon you have this bit of reddish and magenta in your image when you want to push process in capture one so the icc profile has a new profile which is a pro standard which changes the image from what you're seeing here to this and that's reddish um annoying color has been fixed so from there i feel like i want to cool down the picture just because i need to have that bluish vibe on my subjects i'm looking at that melanin skin then i'll reduce my brightness right just to also reduce the exposure a bit not too much though push up my contrast open up my shadows just a little bit reduce my whites bring up my blacks and reduce my highlights then i have my exposure uh, indirectly fixed so i have this image looking this i'm not going to do anything here and the last thing i'll do here is to reduce my saturation after i come here into the color editor and the basic then i'll affect these colors um selectively like how i do them in lightroom so i'll firstly go to the saturation i mean the hue of the orange reduce the lightness of the orange reduce the saturation just a little bit and move the hue towards the reds i come to the reds move the hue towards the orange reduce the saturation and reduce the lightness just because i need to have that melanin vibe but making the skin pop out the more i come to the yellows i can see the yellows here and the rocks available in the foreground so i'll move the hue towards the red a bit i think the oranges and i'll reduce the saturation that's what you see when you do that and reduce the lightness too what i'm trying to do is to send the image towards the earth warm um, vibe and i would have to change that for the blue suit and that's in mind i'll remove the saturation of both the purple and the magenta and i'll come to the blues and change the hue of the blue source teal because i'm going to warm it up and teal feels warmed up enough move the saturation down a bit and that's of the lightness and this is what i am getting always try to avoid that white fringe by moving down your lightness this way this is kind of distracting i'm not saying it's bad but it's distracting for me so if i'm not doing it i want to advise you to do it then i'll come to the advanced section pick the color picker to tap on that open up the range of the selection so that i get every bit of blue color in there then i'll change the hue towards the warm region reduce the saturation not too much and but then reduce the luminance then this is what i have this is the before and this is the after the before and after you're not done yet from there i'll tap on the skin again reduce the lightness and reduce the saturation so that it follows suit then i'll move the hue towards the chocolate region which is reddish um yellowish making it orange as usual right then i'll come to the color balance now i am done color grading this image using whatever settings we used earlier and i would want to further grade this using the color balance what i do in the color balance is i add some blues into my shadows right just to tone everything down add some teal into my highlights not what i usually do all the time but this is i think what works for this image right then i'll add some warmth into my midtones then i'll warm the image up just this way bring down the luminance of the midtones and this is what i am looking at just take a look at that this is the before and this is the after the before and after what do you guys think color grading in capture one would you want to keep color grading in capture one or would you want to follow me to lightroom as usual after i think i would want to send it up a notch by adding a bit of greens to this 
I'll remove my sharpness because I really don't like adding sharpness to my image. Then I'll change this to, I think, tabular green, right? Then I'll increase the tabular green so that I get a bit of noise in this image. And this is how I will color grade here in Capture One. Thank you for joining on this video. If you found this video informative, smash the like button. Let me know down the comment section below if you enjoyed it also and give me tips and also things you would have done here in Capture One 21. So if you haven't upgraded, please I would advise you upgrade your Capture One to Capture One 21. Don't forget to subscribe as usual. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification icon to get notified when I drop another how-to video on my youtube channel and also don't forget to share this video to your friends who might be interested in, in learning a thing or two here and capture one twenty one. and i will see you in my next video peace